you read online that a 15 by 20 foot brick patio would cost about $2,275 to have professionally installed. Estimate the cost of having a 21 by 25 foot brick patio installed. It says round the answer to the nearest dollar. To solve this problem, we will assume that the cost is proportional to the area of the brick patio. So if this is our first brick patio, the dimensions would be 15 feet by 20 feet, and the area of the patio would be equal to length times width, or 15 feet by 20 feet, giving us an area of 300 square feet. And we're told the cost of this patio is $2,275. We want to estimate the cost for a larger patio that's 21 feet by 25 feet. And therefore the area of the larger patio would be equal to 21 feet times 25 feet, which would be 525 square feet. And we're trying to estimate this cost, and therefore the cost is unknown. To keep things organized, let's call this A sub 1 and A sub 2, and we'll call this C sub 1 and C sub 2. There's a couple ways to solve this, but let's go ahead and solve this using a proportion where we compare the cost to the area. So looking at the smaller patio, we know the total cost would be $2,275 when the area is 300 square feet. So again, we're comparing the cost to the area. Now looking at the larger patio, this must be equal to the estimated cost of the larger patio, which is unknown, we'll call that C, to the area of 525 square feet. Now that we have our proportion, we can cross multiply and solve for C to make our estimate. Well, if we have a proportion of A over B equals C over D, then A times D must equal B times C. So in our case, I always like to find the cross product with the variable first. So we'd have 300 times C, or 300 C, must equal 2,275 times 525. So this would give us the equation 300 times C, or 300 C, must equal this product here. So 2,275 times 525, 1,194,375. And now to solve for C, we would divide both sides by 300. So we'll take the previous result and divide by 300, giving us a cost of $3,981.25. But we do have to be careful here because we're told to round the answer to the nearest dollar. So we don't want to leave it in this form the two in the tenths place value indicates the round down, so we'll round this down to $3,981. So the estimated cost is, again, $3,981. So it is important to read the directions so we don't forget to round this to the nearest dollar. Now this is just one way to solve this problem. Another way would be to use this information here, to determine the cost per square foot, then multiply by the area of the larger patio, or multiply by 525. So I do want to show this on the calculator. We take the cost of the smaller patio, $2,275, and divide by the area of 300 square feet. This gives us the cost per square foot. And now if we multiply this by the area of the second patio, we will get the same result. So again, this is the cost per square foot, times 525 square feet gives us the same result. So as we see here, there is more than one way to obtain the correct answer. I hope you found this helpful.